Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. So today we are going to be talking about Lil Reese, Cardi and Megan. We got Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, Holly Bailey, Jania, Stunner Girl, Lotto and Koi Ray, and we got Carlissa, Cali, Way, and Dre. All right, so let's get straight into the shenanigans. Y'all already know I'm about to pop it. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Okay, make sure to do that. Y'all be forgetting. But anyway, Lil Reese decided that he want to be a bozo. Be real disrespectful to a homeless man that's laying down peacefully, minding his business, and pour liquor on him. So he comes out with an apology. Let me know right now after you see this video how y'all feeling. So he's drinking his liquor. Clearly, it's not water. Okay, people were saying it's water. Okay, it's not water, it's liquor. Man is laying down, relaxing. Somebody's saying, pour it on him, do this and do that. He pours it on him. The guy wakes up and he's like, man, that's not right, right? He says, I would like to apologize to my fans and everybody watching for recording and laughing while they were pouring water on the homeless man in the video. I do not condone or support that type of behavior in any way. I will be giving away money to the homeless community as well as giving food away, clothes, and water twice a month going forward. Mm-hmm. Am I bugging out or why he's saying why they were pouring water on the homeless man when it's clearly in the video him? Am I bugging or was that him pouring the liquor on the homeless man? So here he decided that he's going to give out food and water to the homeless. I think that's fake. I think he just didn't want to get a lot of backlash and be canceled. OK, because I'm pretty sure that that was him. My thing is this. I feel like people, when they do spiteful things like that, that is exactly who they are. He is very childish and immature. He needs to grow up. And I feel like when people is put pressure on top of them in the internet, they start doing this fake, oh, my God, I'm about to just give back to the people. Boy, sit down. Nobody want to take that apology. So Cardi B and Megan came out with bongos, okay? It hasn't even been, you know, out for that long. And it's already number one on iTunes. All right, they're doing their thing. Let me know if y'all watched the video and heard the song. How do y'all like the song and the video down in the comments below? Let's listen to what Meg had to say. As a person, like, I don't really, th this space that I'm in mentally, like, I'm not, like, fooling with too many people that don't give me good vibes, good energy. Like, I have literally created boundaries. And... Cardi is somebody that I want in my space, in my energy. So it's so easy to work with her because she got good vibes. She got good energy. I want her to be in my space. She been nothing but real to me. Like the industry is so f***ed up. But like this girl is probably the only girl who have been this consistent and this real and this, this just great of a person to me. So I just want to say, Cardi, I really love you so much. And I really appreciate it. At a time you could have jumped ship, you never jumped the ship. <laughs> And you always been rocking and me, and I'm just so appreciative. One thing about it, when Cardi B does collabs and has features, her energy with them is always looking like A1. We never really have people complain about her when they collab with her or none of that stuff. Regardless, Nikki does not count. I'm talking about any other female in the industry. We're not really seeing beefs with Cardi B going back and forth and doing all the extra stuff. I actually genuinely feel like um, Cardi B and Megan could probably possibly have a good friendship. I like the video. Um, you know, Cardi always eats um, and Megan always eats in the videos, okay? Visuals is always on point. And I actually kind of like the song. <laughs> now, the buzz around Rihanna and ASAP Rocky regarding their baby's name. Yes, the sources are saying that they named their baby boy Riot, Riot Rose, okay? Now, somebody says, Riot, a Riley disturbance of the peace by a crowd. Congratulations to both of them. Somebody says, nine months of pregnancy, and that's the best name they could come up with. So, a lot of people are not liking it. This person says, celebrities, when it's time to make a terrible name for their babies. Wow. Um, These poor kids, I mean, they're rich, so whatever. But they're influencing regular old people to give their kids ridiculous names and they won't be so lucky they will get bullied okay we literally don't care about her private life we need music so people want rihanna music okay i actually like the name read the riot act okay somebody says riot might be a difficult name for a child to carry parents must think of the child instead of their extravagant needs to be different okay yes being unique is okay okay a lot of people out here have unique cute names but me personally i would never um name my child riot it just sounds too like problematic 
But once again, that is just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments below if you would name your child Wyatt. Now, the rumors are still going on on the internet about um, Holly Bailey and DDG possibly, you know, having a baby on the way. Now, this video I'm about to show y'all resurfaced recently. Look at the bump. Is it just her jacket piece? Or do you really think that there is a baby bump underneath the jacket? Because people are pointing out that bump, okay? At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, okay? If she's pregnant by this man, then she's pregnant by this man. They probably love each other. They want to have a kid. Who knows? At the end of the day, it's going to hit the surface when it's time to, okay? It's because clearly if she is pregnant, she is not ready to announce her pregnancy. And maybe she understands why, okay? People are already starting the shenanigans. What's up, y'all? It's Shinya Michelle, and you guys are about to tune in to my new show, Basic to Baddies. So we all, which, I mean, that's not even a rumor. It's the f we got people on saying video. That's yeah. Y now, I don't know how the show is going to come out, but why is everybody coming out with these reality shows, drama, problematic shows, coming out with a baddies title? Can anybody become unique and different? Now, it's basic to baddies. Baddies, East, West Coast, rival baddies, the bad girls, boo, all these damn baddies. I feel like people need to be coming outside of the box and come out with different names. Stunner Girl is exposing CEO Lemieux plumber i don't know if i'm saying his first name correctly but yes she's coming out and she is not having it she's going to get some things off her chest so let's look at this video situations would come up i couldn't really say what was really going on i, I really couldn't say what was going on i could only say like some of it but honestly i think i would be seeing what was going on but i wouldn't tell y'all like what's really being going on a lot of people would be looking like r kelly and um a lot of be exposed if i really say what i want to say the ceo of zeus is a weird freak old guy who f's on his cast members except me i'm not going for that he over there giving girls chlamydia and disrespecting them he mad he can't disrespect me and treat me anyway how he does them because he know what's up with my husband okay I had 250k followers, not 100, and my page was deleted for a year. That's the only reason my followers was at that number. Every show we went to, the crowd only knew my music and one other person. Ben had rival records and big features before going on there, but my personality and drama is what put me on. You guys are so mad, I left. Get over it. All they do is take girls like me who get clout and followings, who are a popular already and cast them. They literally have to do no work but pull out a camera. We already be self-developed and known. Why you think they only cast like one girl y'all never seen before? And that one girl they cast don't even leave with a career. And it's still a nobody because they can't produce stars. They can't make a star. That's why they cast popular girls. The only girl that they gave a name and career was one girl and it took years. And girls still came and passes her up. <laughs> still ain't went nowhere. So it's Cap. You should see the way he treats and talks about his right-hand man, Brother Daryl. He calls him a bum guy who broke and don't got a car with dirty fingernails. Say he wears a toupee hairpiece because he's bold. The whole reason they fighting is over girls. This man who helped him build a company. What a shame. Okay, this is the things that she's seeing. Um, Mother Effer is really mad I left and posted I left. That's where everything started because I posted left, but he ran to the internet first before that. They called me and begged me to take down the post, but I posted it back up, so it's been beef ever since. All people do is sit around talking about me in interviews and posting shade about me, paying blogs to F with me. I'm not one of them. Y'all gonna see how I'm gonna be bitter about something. I decided to quit and leave. Laughing my butt off. Y'all make no sense. These girls talk stuff about Zeus and be right back. I could have easily came back like they was begging me to. I didn't want to because it ain't worth it. Okay, so she's saying she know her worth and she not one of those. Okay. She says, and none of your cast members like you for real, probably only the new girls or the ones that's scared of you, but they think you're a perverted, raging, etero head. You can't sue me because I have way so much evidence of your, you know, S.A. and, 
you know, violation against the cast members and everything I'm saying is true. I can literally say names, but I'm still sparing some girls. And it was an uncomfortable work environment. I didn't want to be around. It started being so much like you're hitting on girls and thinking it's cool, leaving bruises and scratches, straight DV on girls. Who would want to be around that? You're getting out of control. Too much partying and drugs got you losing it, buddy. That's why you hated me, because I will put your midget self in your place. Me and my husband was into it with y'all, because I stand on my respect. Even threatening to edit my fights, saying, I still got to edit your fights. Like, what does that mean? Um, uh, no. What's up with me, boy? So, Mr. Lemieux, Mr. Plummer, is um married to Janisha, okay? She's one of the hosts that be on all of the baddies reunions, okay? And look at the video that he recently posted up. All right, y'all, we, we, we wrapped in. Where we wrapped in at? On the Great, Great River. In Jamaica. In Jamaica. 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 I believe Stunner Girl. I ain't gonna lie. Because when I first saw Mr. Plummer and Natalie and everybody, I be feeling like he be freaking on them, okay? The energy he gives off, we do not know what happened behind these closed doors. That's probably why the Zeus Network is going so far ahead because he knows exactly what he's doing behind closed doors. And these women clearly is whiplashed. They're they're like, whoops. Like, I don't, I don't get it, all right? Roly is one of the main ones that kept saying she was going to get off, she was going to get off, and then she keep going on the show. What happened to her show that she was supposed to come out with on Zeus Network? What happened to that? I truly feel like Stunner Girl is telling the truth, and she was out of this. She knew her worth, and the money wasn't looking right. She wasn't getting treated right, and that's what I'm talking about. Get up out of there. The girls are fighting again, okay? So Lotto and Coyle Ray is going back and forth. And yes, Coyle Ray dad Benzino Neck is up in here. (laughs) He's in the conversation. And when I tell y'all, it's getting crazy. Oh, give me that net like busy, no. Someone find me a pic of Karen. That's what Coyle Ray says. Lotto posted her dad's neck up there, okay? And everybody on Twitter is laughing at the no neck, okay? Somebody says, Coyle Ray, how come you have so much smoke for Lotto, but when Nikki called you olive oil, you you was on the Beyonce mute challenge. I'm trying to figure it out, okay? Shouldn't have just took the compliment the first time instead of being childish and bringing it back up with that weak rolling loud disc. You don't want it with Big Lotto, okay? Lotto went from Blunt's big ass Coyle Ray to give me that neck like Benzino. Wow. Now, if y'all do not know, Lotto says something about smoking Blunt's as big as Coyle Ray. Then Coyle Ray felt some type of way. Lotto came out and, you know, addressed it publicly, saying it wasn't really a diss, and then she explained what she meant, okay? And then Coyle Ray took it upon herself to drag out the situation and try to diss Lotto with a weak gelato lotto some type of disc that was really weak okay and i felt like she could have did better than that so i guess this is lotto just coming back you know from her last thing that um coyle ray said and at the end of the day i'm all for going back and forth in the music i rather them fight it out in the music back and forth than actually thumping it out in the street okay because nobody got time or the energy for that as grown people over petty stuff Carlissa and her two children, Callieway and Dre, have some things regarding the blue face and the Krishan Rock baby situation. And I'm going to let y'all know exactly how I feel. It seems like Callie and Carlissa is on Krishan Rock's side and Dre is not having it. So let's get straight into her video. Now, Jaden, when you had Journey, I gave you the same respect. I bent over. I kissed your ass. I did all of that for my babies. I got to do the same thing for this baby right here, and I'm going to need you to shut the up talking about my baby. I'm going to need you to shut the up and just love John and stay out of this because this is our family. Unfortunately, John put us in a situation that we all have to accept at this point. Just like your kid's my baby, her kid my baby too. Everybody shut the up. Javon is happy again, y'all. It's been so long since my baby smiled with his whole heart. No matter what happens, John, you're doing the right thing. Then she says, all John and Andre ever wanted was their fathers to teach them to be men. It's hard for a father to be at 
uh, a father in two houses at one time. Ladies, listen when I talk because although I may make jokes, it's because I laugh to keep from crying. Y'all should know by now if any of my kids was from the community, they wouldn't hide it. You can never blackmail a boss who don't give a F about your opinions we stand on all our stuff up over here stop using a community to shame people they aren't a disease they need jesus just like the rest of y'all first off i try to give carlissa the benefit of the doubt because she is the mom and i felt like she was just out you know lashing out from her and stuff like that but then she started being a cloud chaser she's flippy floppy and she's doing the most okay i just felt like now all of a sudden she's on Krishan rock's side trying to come for Jaden. y'all already know her and Jaden is not getting along right now and she's just gonna go right back into Jaden's good graces and start talking bad back about Krishan rock listen if it's about the grandkids you i don't think that you should kiss anybody's butt i think you should gen- genuinely have conversations with these women the women of your son's babies and actually have a adult conversation to see what's going on to see how y'all can move forward without all of the cloud chasing and the drama and the toxic situations okay because i feel like carlissa does not have a place or say so now y'all might be like oh my god yes i agree yeah if it was genuine now, Callie has some things to say. Y'all know recently she has not been in the mess, okay, like she used to. Now, she says, I don't have anything to say because this is normal baby mama, baby daddy drama. Let them work it out. The sooner they work out these kinks, the sooner it'll be peaceful for baby junior. Let them heal, okay? Because somebody's saying, thank you for not getting into the madness. I think you will see the baby before his own daddy at this point. She also says, I will say the only thing I'm worried about is postpartum depression is real. So let all leave her alone while she's enjoying her newborn. I'm sure it's a lot of stress with the weight of the world watching and judging newborn baby that's crying and hungry and a baby daddy that does everything for a clout and can't take anything serious. I feel for you. You need to go to an island and block it out embrace your blessing in peace i mean that sounds nice but is it genuine because a lot of people on that side is not never genuine they just do things to sound nice to make it seem as if they're the positive person in the situation and in all reality they be behind closed doors subbing and 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 being in a toxic situation also i truly do agree with that though i felt like um Krishan needs to get off the internet, stop feeding into blue face antics and worry about the newborn because now that is who she needs to really be worried about. Now, Mr. Dre, all right, is not having it. He's going against Krishan and these are the things that he had to say. He said, the baby need a father more than an Instagram. Why is no one talking about her inducing herself just to rob him of the opportunity to be there, even risking complications with her own self to go live? Everyone is ignoring the signs. This isn't someone who needs to be in control of a newborn, especially without support. Does she even know how to change a diaper? Now, this is someone that used to hang out with Kashan Rock. Allegedly, she was supposed to be one of his artists. I don't know what the heck was going on, but clearly it didn't work out. But my thing about Dre is this. He will curse his mother out, Carlissa, when she's talking smack about Kashan Rock and say this to say that. And now all of a sudden, he's back um against Krishan Rock. I mean, and, it, and nobody knows how to change a thing if you're not really used to changing diapers. I'm pretty sure it's not going to take a rocket science to change a diaper. I mean, everybody starts from somewhere, right? So I feel like, Dre, did you know how to change a diaper? before you change your first diaper please but anyways at the end of the day i just feel like everybody on that side is fake they're not genuine and it would be nice if everybody was genuine and had real adult conversations about the situation but that's clearly never going to happen look at look at um Callieway, her baby daddy and um dre and his baby mama carlissa don't get get along with none of her children's um baby mothers or baby fathers like it's just a repeating cycle and nobody is really trying to break it so at the end of the day you miss me with the bull crap nobody want to hear none of that stuff but at the end of the day let me know how y'all feel about everything in this video like i said i don't know if little reese is the one that actually poured the liquor but we know that he was drinking and he was recording so whoever was on the side of him because we see two shadows i think the person next to him was the one that poured it but at the end of the day little reese you're encouraging this behavior laughing and recording it like it's funny so you're the problem okay cardi and megan i already said everything i had to say about that if this is true about um Mr. Plummer from the CEO of Zeus, you should be ashamed of yourself. And that network is crazy for females to actually go underneath that type of treatment just to get some type of clouts. Okay, like y'all on the show belittling yourselves and making your character look crazy. 
just for a check and for somebody to violate you behind closed doors. But anyway, that is everything that is allegedly, but I believe Stunner Girl. I believe and I'm pretty sure she has receipts. But let me know down in the comments below how y'all feel about everything. And if you have anything that y'all would like for me to talk about, hit up Etoxic Tea Lounge. That is my Instagram. And y'all already know I got y'all. Love y'all. Toodaloo. Mwah.